Hi guys, it's me Umair and today I'm going to talk about NPM. I have been working with AngularJS and Node.js for a couple of months. So today I decided to make a tutorial on NPM, what is NPM and how to use NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager and it is used to install all kinds of packages that are required for our Node.js JavaScript applications. I'm working with NPM for a couple of months and it really helpful in managing and deploying and building of our products uh, like uh, we need many extra dependency files like we need bootstrap we need bower we need grunt uh, these are all very important packages that are required to manage and updating our project so NPM really help us in order to maintain our project we don't need to remember that what are the modules what are the packages uh, that were required and uh, that has to be deleted from our project npm automatically takes care of all these things it is also used to share bundle of packages of a project with others who are working on same project or another project that need same packages npm really saves a lot of time updating building and deploying our project so now we are going to start working on the practical of npm in order to work with npm we need to have node.js in our system so in order to download and install node.js you need to go to node.js.org and download the latest version of node.js once you download it you need to install it in your system with the default settings and if i go right here node and you can see that i already have installed node.js and i have node.js command prompt and node.js all right once you install it you need to go to cmd command prompt and check out if the node is installed in your system or not you need to write node hyphen v and you can see that i have node installed in my system with the version 4.3.1 all right so i have installed so node.js comes with npm installed with it so in order to check if npm installed or not I need to enter npm if I enter you can see that it has given me the details uh, that I have npm installed of 3.10.9 and this is a version of npm that is installed in my system so in order to update npm if in case if we don't have a latest version of npm uh, we, what we need to do we need to write npm install npm hyphen g and enter all right it's downloading the latest version of npm in case if I have the old version already installed with the node so if you have internet connection you must have internet connection in order to install each package or main modules with npm so it's taking some time in order to update our npm so guys you can see that it has updated my npm but fortunately i already have the latest version of npm it has replaced the same version with the same version all right uh, so i'll come back to cmd again so now let's come to the ide that i use for developing node.js applications you can use other ides as well you can see that in this IDE I have this terminal it works same as CMD so from now on I'll be working with this terminal uh, if you don't have WebStorm or uh, the terminal inside your IDE you can use CMD in case alright so you can see that I have created an empty project this is called test on my desktop you need to create an empty folder inside your any directory alright so what I need to do is I need to install package I, I have already checked that I have npm installed so in order to install a particular package in my this in this project what I need to do I need to go to install npm install grunt grunt is a package uh, that is the task runner and that helps a lot in working with node.js projects so it's taking some time it's downloading grunt package from internet it's installing it and it's going to create node dash module folder under my project in order to store those packages all right so you can see that it's installing right now uh, so you can see that there is some warning but uh, just neglect this warning and if i go to my project you can see that there's a folder node underscore modules 
and it has, it has created all the packages that are required to run grunt in my project all right it has already created because all the packages and modules of npm needs to be inside node underscore modules folder so what i need to do is i need to check if our packages are working fine or not and to see that i'm going to create javascript file and i'm gonna name it script all right and for checking grunt i need to do a lot of things what i need to do is i'm going to install another package called underscore js uh, that has a collection of and bunch of methods and functions that we can use to apply different operations on collections on arrays on json files and on objects so what i need to do is i need to come right here in terminal and write npm install and underscore so if i go to node modules and i just come at the bottom and you can see that it has installed packages underscore and underscore dot string all right now i'm going to use this package in this script file so in order to get this file what i need to do is i need to create a variable i'm going to use the node syntax so i'm going to write underscore equals to require and underscore the name of this folder and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of the function inside this package so i'm going to log it so underscore dot i'm going to find the minimum number from an array so i'm going to write five numbers and semicolon and in order to run it i'm going to go to run click on run click on all right so it is showing some error actually it is not required it is required okay so i'm going to go to run again and script you can see that it has shown one this is the minimum number now i'm gonna use another function uh, let's say i want to use find all right and i'm gonna pass an array inside it and this find function have a callback function all right and here i need to return if i need to pass a parameter inside it and i need to return num if this number is a1 then return that value it will find the first even number from this array and return that okay so i'll go to run and run script you can see that this is the result of first console.log this is the result of second console.log so right now i'm not going to teach you underscore js i already made a one hour and 10 minutes tutorial and that is an essential training on underscore js check out my current playlist uh, in which you are just watching this tutorial in order to learn underscore js all right so i just want you to show you that how we can download and install npm package and use it you can see that i have used this particular package same way we can use other packages as well all right so now i want to show you that how to combine those packages in a file what we need to do we need to create a file called package.json so i'm gonna right click on it click on new and in webstorm i already have package.json file i'll click on it if you don't have you need to create an empty file with an extension .json and the name of file should be same package all right and these are the two attributes that are required that are necessary in order to run package.json file it has a name and it has the application name so i'm going to change it test app and version i want to keep the same version all right and there is an another attribute called dependencies and in here we're gonna write all those packages that we need for our project all right and once we add those packages inside this dependency object 
uh, we can then ask our npm that check out the package.json file and inside the package.json file there is a key called dependency and install all those packages that are written inside this dependencies all right so i'm gonna just go to bower i'm gonna install bower uh, it's a package that is used to fetch uh, all those packages for the ui side okay for the like bootstrap we have a jquery so in order to install it we can also install bower using npm install hyphen g bower but we are not gonna do it like this we have already shown you that how to install underscore js like this hyphen g means that we're gonna install any particular package globally in our system we don't need to install later on if we create a new project it was it was already installed in our system if we create a new project but i created underscore.js without hyphen g means it is only available in this project all right so what i want to do is i want to check out the latest version of bower uh, so you can see that it has a version 1.7.9 all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add bower and I'm gonna set its value with this character and that is 1.7.9 this is the latest version all right and once I add all those packages that are required for this project I'll go to terminal and I will write npm install and I will enter <coughs> it's gonna go to package.json file and install all those packages that are written in dependencies so it will take some time it will download bower from internet and it will install it in this project so you can see that it has installed bower 1.7.9 if i want to see that if it is actually installed or not let's go to node underscore modules and you can see that here is our bower package it has installed Bower. I'm not going to teach you individual package because this is not part of this. This is not the part of this tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to teach you npm. Now there is another another way to create this package dot json file. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write npm and in it I'll press enter. So it's going to ask each and every attribute that is required for the package.json file so I'm gonna write a name so I'm gonna write my app and version should be 1.1.1 description uh, let's say test app entry point we don't have entry point let's enter test command enter git repository we don't have we don't have keywords I am the author and let's enter the license and I'll press enter all right and you can see that it has updated package.json file because it was already created in this project all right it has replaced the name and version with a new name it has kept the dependency that was already added it has added the description it has added the main script file dev dependencies script all right uh, some things so dev dependencies and dependencies these are the two attributes dev dependency means that uh, these everything that we add inside this object will run only at the time of development other than this this dependency will work all right so we don't need to add two things at one time but if it exists it doesn't make uh, any problem all right so this is an another way uh, to create package.json file and I want to show you some more commands of npm uh, so let's say I want to update all the packages inside node modules alright so what I need to do I need to write npm update so it's gonna check out the individual package and it's gonna check out if it is outdated it is going to update those package so it's taking some time in order to check that out so you can see that it has checked all the packages and fortunately we have all the packages up to date if there was outdated package uh, it had to shown right here all right 
and there is another command called outdated in order to check that what are the packages uh, that are outdated so it's going to check out and there is no outdated project so in order to see that what are the packages that we have in our project so npm we're gonna write list all right so you can see that we have bower we have grunt we have underscore these are the packages uh, that uh, we have in our project and there is a word called extraneous it means that it doesn't require but it is added inside the node modules because everything that we need in to use in our project has to be added in dependencies object right now we haven't written anything inside it all right so that's why it's not showing this word after bower and it's showing after grunt and underscore all right so there is an another command npm in order to uninstall any package uninstall let's say I want to uninstall bower and I'm going to write save so I'll press enter and now I'm gonna enter npm list you can see that uh, it has shown grunt and underscore because I have already installed bower but it has been already you can see that dependencies object has been updated there is nothing inside it alright so these are the command that you need to know in order to work with npm and these can be very helpful so uh, this was all for this tutorial if you want to learn more make sure you subscribe my channel and ask question in comments I will that will really encourage me to make more tutorials I'm planning to make angular tutorials angular 1 and specifically on angular 2 so make sure you like this share this with your friend thanks for watching this video